Okay, greetings everyone, this is First Centurion 753 with the next episode of Making History the Great War. Looks like we are about to close things up here in China. Uh, by the way, I want to thank uh, Eddie Giles for all the comments in the past couple videos. If anyone has any questions about this game, he is the man to ask, either on uh, YouTube, through my comments, or however you want to contact them, um, or check them out on Steam. Uh, anyways, so, uh, we have here one of, looks like the last battle between the Japanese and the Nationalist, uh, or the Republic of China, and, uh, we've got 26 divisions of there too, so that's gonna be over pretty quickly. We also have, looks like we're consolidating all our forces. Two more divisions here. These are... Infantry, straight infantry, and these are militia, yeah, militia, and like cavalry. Um, let's see here, what other forces do we have? We've got three marines here, which is good. I want to keep them there. Well, actually, no, I need them near a port. So let's see if I can move them, load onto that transport there. Because, well, no, I guess that's fine. As long as... Oh wait, cancel current order. Uh, as long as this isn't burning fuel, I don't know if this is burning fuel or not. Eddie, what do you? What's your uh, opinion on that? I know you're probably watching this. Um, does that actually burn fuel? How could how could I tell? Supply rate. I don't know how to tell that. Um, but I do want these marines here because I'm thinking my next move is going to be south. I think I'm going to avoid to try to hit the major powers, England. England or France, even the United States here. Uh, but there's another colonial power that um, is kind of fading in history at this point, and that is the Dutch. Their time is their time is just about up. They don't have any allies. They're neutral in World War One. So after this conquest of China, I think the next logical move for the Japanese would be to go ahead and try to take. The Dutch East Indies. Uh, I don't think I'm going to move against... I can't move against the Australians, because they're part of the British Empire. But the Dutch East Indies look good. I could probably even take East Timor here, which is Portuguese. Is that... What is that? Is that part of it? No. That's, um, there's East Timor. Portuguese colony, which could probably be taken. And then there's the issue of Siam. The Kingdom of Siam, I think, becomes part of uh, the Japanese co-prosperity sphere. They're almost like a puppet state, so to speak, in World War II. But World War I, uh, the Japanese do not advance any further. Uh, we'll try to avoid war with India. Because uh, that's British, although they got that one little... Portuguese city there, and if anything, I think the Middle East would be the next target. Declining Ottoman Empire. Uh, the Ottoman Empire is already broken up pretty much pretty heavily here. If they join the Central Powers too, the Italians have taken uh, Anatolia and Istanbul. That is a bold move by the Italians. So, it is only 1913, April 1913. We've got about a year and a few months before hostilities break out. Uh, historically, I don't know if there's going to be a trigger for that of some sort. Iran is not typically a country you want to invade. Uh, there's a lot of mountains there. Also, Afghanistan. I don't want to go into there, really. I could possibly... What was that? I just switched my... Uh, switched the map on myself there. I don't want to do that. Right, back here. No, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, and uh, we pretty much... The only area we could advance into is Central Asia. Tibet and Mongolia, maybe. But again, Tibet's also mountains. So I'm not sure if I want to advance. But, oh, oh, come on. I keep hitting that button. How um, imposing are the Tibetan armies? They probably don't have a lot. We're going to go ahead and secure the gap. I think that's something that we don't want to get cut off from at least. So let's move one infantry division 
and one cavalry division. And I'm gonna move by uh, regular move, march, because we have plenty of time. And I know that moving by rail does take up fuel. So to answer that question, but I think I think just moving by ships takes up fuel. But I don't know the I don't know the answer to that completely. Uh, it's probably somewhere in the guide, which I think I posted in the original episode uh, in the comments, which I read, but I read over the summer. I don't remember any of it. So uh, let's see what we got here. Announcements wise, what other other armies we have? This is a pretty sizable army, the 38th Army. I kind of want them in position. Uh, in case war does break out, that's not really a hostile force. Nah, I'll keep them there. I was thinking I want uh, somebody in position to move against the Germans. I wonder if I should also keep people in position to move against the British, Portuguese, and French. Well, we'll decide that after. But I think that's, uh, that's some new geopolitical considerations. And I'll also have to guard the border in the north. And yes, there is some Chinese land here. The Republic of China has this uh, northern, it's like northern railway line or something like that, that's disconnected. I'm actually not going to go after it. After I take the mainland China, uh, I'm just going to try to get a peace treaty. And I'll leave them alone. I don't really care about that. Insignificant. Uh, the Germans, I'm doing like a general overview here. Uh, the Germans have the Mariana Islands. Guam should be Phil uh, American. Uh, Germans have Palau. And Yap is not on this map. Um, these are the Bismarck Caroline Islands, or Bismarck Islands, I think. Speaking of Bismarck, I'll be doing a uh, Bismarck, what would Otto von Bismarck series? Uh, what would Otto von Bismarck do series? In uh, Hearts of Iron, The Great War, which I really like that mod, by the way. I did a couple mod reviews, or overviews, kind of. Nauru. Alright, the Germans have a lot of coastal possession. Or Pacific, not coastal. Uh, Pacific possessions. Bismarck. Oh, there's the Bismarck Archipelago. Alright, that's different. So the Caroline Islands are to the north. Bismarck Archipelago, which is today... I don't know if that's the same thing. And they also hold parts of New Guinea. Which, going after the Dutch would give me the opportunity to move against them. So I do want to be in position, because that's what the Japanese did during World War II, World War I. Uh, they sided with the British, which I think is probably the best move, um, especially after we've taken the Chinese out. We side with the British and grab the German possessions in the Pacific, and then maybe even uh, go against the Ottomans and uh, colonize the Arabian Peninsula. Up to the Italians, of course, because the Italians would probably go with the Entente as well. Um, we got another battle down here. Sakishima Islands, if I pronounce that right. Uh, this one looks like 7 to 1 battle. That looks like a victory too. Okay, so um, I'm going to be done with this turn. Oh, I want to get, this is my issue. Uh, steel is an issue. And uh, I have surpluses. I have, yeah, surpluses and everything. The only deficit is in steel production. So, well, let's check out these announcements, too. What do we have here? Kingdom of Palestine was founded and declared independent from the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire is falling apart. There we go. That's, that's over. Uh, request by Ottomans for gold. We're actually giving them aid. I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't know. I'll keep it up. I don't really care. Machine Age, we're about 80% researched there. Uh, have these relations with Portuguese Republic declined. Trades with enemy. Who are they trading with? The f Chinese? Projects. Ironworks. Ironworks built in Toyama. I don't know if I pronounce these reasons. I shouldn't try pronouncing this stuff. Uh, coal expansion. We've got a lot of money. Shipping green. Food aid from Southern Manchuria Railway Zone to Japanese Formosa. That's an offer? Agreement pending? I guess I accepted it. That's a within colonial empire. I gotta maybe I have to manage my colonies a little bit too. I haven't really paid much attention to that at all. 
Infantry. We've got a lot of infantry coming in still. Artillery merchant raider. You know what? I don't want a merchant raider. Where is that? Let me get back to that. Uh, combat reports. We're winning. Civil disobedience. Jeju. Where is the Jeju? This is Jeju? That is Jeju. And Chung Cheong. Civil disobedience right there. That should be manageable since we have a uh, recruitment center. You would think that our army should be able to garrison that. I don't know what's going on with those guys. Anyways. I wanted to look at military. Not military. Factories. Merchant Raider. I've had enough of the Merchant Raider. I want pre dreadnought battleships. I have no idea uh, about naval construction and what's necessary in this game for navies. I think I probably just could have had a Merchant Raider on like one turn there, but I don't really know the capabilities of the different ships, why they're significant at all. Firepower, air defense, offensive combat, and armor health are the factors here. Group movement range, speed, coal demand. What's these guys? What's going on here? Their coal demand is four. So if they arrive in port and they're not demanding any coal, I'll know the answer to my question. So, let's go ahead and find out. Ending the turn there. Went on, went off for a little bit, we'll see what happens. Uh, I think China, the war with China is about to end. And uh, we'll get a post-war uh, agreement. The Russians... I don't want to fight the Russians at all. Ottoman Empire annexed the Kingdom of Palestine. That was a short-lived rebellion. Religious conversion from pagan to Protestant. I don't know what the religious significance is. We have the Palestinian kingdom defeated. Ah, no. <laughs> treaty proposed, Republic of Offering Peace Treaty. Pre-war borders, I reject that, sir. Can I renegotiate? I can't negotiate. That is a rejection. I'm going to conquer this territory, and we'll get the status quo. Uh, turn here. They, they, they haven't, uh, they didn't go anywhere. Alright, uh, 87% on the machine age. We're getting there. Shipping trade offer. Coal aid. I don't know. Do I need to be... I guess these are just handling themselves. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I'm not sure what's going on with that uh, Imperial trade strategy. I forgot about the steel, though. Let's go into this and there's more people selling than before, it looks like. I looked at it before. We want the British. This is steel, right? Wow. Let's make an offer. Make an offer they can't refuse. No, 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 no. Every turn, and we want the British to handle the shipping. And trade accepted. Beautiful. Tons of steel. And, oh, that's a negative. We just went negative on the cash. Negative on the cash, because we bought a lot of steel. Let me see here. Wrought iron. Ah, textiles, arms. I feel like I should build more textile factories. Infrastructure. Ottoman Empire has won battles. Cities. There, there it is. Projects. Factories. There we go. No fleets in port. This is a port city. I don't know where these cities are. I'm going to build another mill. Try to bring in some more cash. Okay. That's, that's my, uh. Let's 
let's do power station. What do these things do? There is a place I can look this up. Encyclopedia. Production. Mills. Mechanized mill. I can upgrade some of my other mills. Textiles. Demand and income. They demand coal and grain for 50. Consumer goods would be better. That's probably something... Oh. oh, consumer goods would not be better. Textiles is the best. This makes sense now, though. Can I upgrade? Can I upgrade in my mills? I don't know how to do that. No, I don't have the technology yet. Okay. More sense is being made of this game every turn, for me at least. Battles are still fighting out. Aha! Victory on the mainland of China. Those are some massive armies. I don't know what to do with all those guys. They just got wiped out. Army recruitment. Artillery production. Well, <coughs> that's a lot of armies. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait till these guys get there. And then I'm going to reorganize it. 93% on the machine age. I want mechanized mills if I can get them. Okay. Uh, that looks better. I don't know why that's better. We didn't do anything. The mill was not constructed, it just began construction. Fire away here in another turn. Now our army is unified there. Down to one deficit on the cash. Man, we're doing really well. Down to negative one on the cash deficit. Sectarian unrest. Buddhism, Buddhism population riots. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Our nation has successfully finished researching machine age. Our nation can now research another project. I don't know what they do. Food can process the assembly lines. Fertilizers. I don't really know what I need. Industrial corporations, manufacturing plant, sounds good. We may want to get into air power. Do I need oil? I could use oil. Steam engines. Eh, let's try oil drilling. I'm a little short on the oil there. What do we got here? Nothing much. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I did that by accident. May 1913, Philippine Territory. Looks like we won down there. Time for a treaty. National unrest. Workers' riot. Whatever. What is this? Is that the unrest sign right there? And why is this not moving? Do they not have proper... Coal or something like that? That's way up there. We've got nobody up there. Ah! This Russian national unrest. I should send some troops up there. Let's see what we got. Oh boy, that's an army. I don't need all that. What do we got here? Five. Five sounds like a good number. Infantry. Engineers. Militia. Split the group. Let's take...
I think that's five. I wasn't counting. Yeah, it was five. Okay. Five infantry. Let's march them. North. I'm gonna need a fleet around there. That is a Russian fleet, isn't it? Why are you not moving? That's weird. Twelfth fleet. Troop chips. Oh, that means we have troops, doesn't it? Ah. Ah. Interesting. That could handle. These troops should be able to handle. Not clicking the right buttons here. The issue in the north, hopefully. Let's move there. Ooh, tensions with us and the Russians, I think. Could lead to tensions with us in the Russians. I don't know how to put down a rebellion. Mmm, close farms. Come on. Revolt risk. Government policies, radicalism. Let's take a look at our government. That's not the screen I was looking for. Is it? No, that's research. Ah, there it is. Theology, nationalist, and democracy. I got 50. Oh boy. Uh. Support religion. Alright, I'm now in the negative 15, but maybe that'll subdue some of these uh, rebellions. Time to negotiate a treaty with the Chinese. Where are they? Right here. Okay, China. I will offer a... You know what? I don't know if I'm going to do this. Right. And I'm going to save the game. Sorry. Just to make sure I don't screw up the negotiations. Because I don't really know how they work. Okay, save me. There it is. Okay, return to game. Now. Republic of China. Offer peace. Uh, I'm going to demand concessions. That's right. What are the other options? Offer concessions. Demand concessions. That's right. Sovereignty conditions. Occupation. Japanese Empire receives full military access. Uh, eh, I don't need that. Surrender, seed all regions. No, we don't need to do that. Drop claims. Pre war. This is what we want. Border remain as is. Status quo. We're going to offer that. Reject it. Are you kidding me? You are rejecting that? Okay, now I have to talk to the Russians, I guess. Let's see if I can get. Uh, request military access treaty. Full access, port access. Ah, damn. Propose trade agreement. No, 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 no. Propose trade access. What is our relations with them? Indirect rule. I don't know where it tells you what your relations with the country is. This is the Chinese rail zone. This isn't. Russia. Wait a minute. Who is that? These aren't the Russians. This is some, like, Chinese puppet.
Or is it our puppet? There's a way for me to figure this out, I think. Nope. Diplomatic maps. Ah, there must be a Russian... Ah, Russian Empire. They're a Russian puppet. I get it. Russian Empire. Why do they have their own <laughs> nation's influence? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't know if it matters or not. Even if we're at war with them, who cares? Okay, we are going to merge all into one unit here. 39th Army, that gives us six militia, which should be, should be used for garrisoning. I feel like I should have an army to the north, but I do have recruitment going on up here. Eight. Eight infantry. All right, so this army should march south. Then. Or perhaps keep a few in the north. Nah, for most of could probably take out that uh, Shanghai proper. Let's march this army south. In fact, I'm going to put it right by the land, by the sea there, so we can exit. Alright, no peace treaty. That's a stinker. Alright, so now that uh, hostilities are basically over, I mean, they're kind of trapped in the north there, now I have to figure out more of a domestic strategy, I guess. Let's end another turn here and see what happens. I will take comments on what I should do domestically. Please feel free to comment down below. Eddie Giles especially, I know you will. But, uh... Ah, civil disobedience ended. So that domestic policy is working. Political faction grows. Support for nationalism has increased over the government. Army, army, I don't know if uh, I'm making too many army. What is this line here? This yellow line, it's really annoying. I don't know what that is. Okay, so uh, it looks like I have a surplus and everything. Um, I'm lacking road capacity. So one thing I probably should do is take some time and go back and look into the uh, the guide for the game to try to figure these things out. Um, it is winter break for me, so I am taking a break and taking some time to play this. So maybe I'll have some time to do it. I do have a ton of things on my to-do list, however. Especially YouTube-wise, and I'll just do some announcements. Uh, we're going to continue with the Ottoman Empire series, or restoring the Ottoman Empire series with the GPS-4. I think uh, there is going to be a 2019 add-on. I heard about that, so I may try to conclude that city, that series, with some more aggressive military behavior, especially if I can get into that UN Security Council. That's a big one uh, in that other series. Uh, so I may, you know end that series quicker than it needs to be ended or I'm not sure I think people want me to get aggressive anyways so we can see how aggressive we can be with that series um, I like the hearts of iron great mod uh, or great war mod and I'm definitely gonna do a uh, Otto von Bismarck series what would Bismarck do if he was alive in 1914 or I think people want me to start in 1910, actually. Two scenarios there, so I'm going to pick 1910 one since people want me to do it. That's going to be a slower, more passive, uh, less aggressive series because Bismarck was more of a reactionary type with his diplomacy. It wasn't, wasn't very aggressive, more of a piecemeal approach, grabbing what he can when the opportunity arose from uh, my interpretation of my readings and research on him. Um... So we got that series. There's going to be a Realpolitik series with Bulgaria starting this week, hopefully. Or actually, when this video is published, it'll probably be after. Probably, this video might be published after the series has already started. And then I had some other games. Universe Sim. Eh, getting frustrated with that one. 
testing it out. Doesn't really, I don't really have a good feel for it. And a lot of people say sort of uh, wait to buy it too because it's not fully uh, developed and supposedly you can't only get into like the medieval age where the advertisements for that game had you going into like the space age and everything which looked really cool. And they even hint sort of uh, that you can colonize other planets. I don't know about that. But uh, I think I think developers still have a ways to go with Universe Sim. Uh, other games that I bought, I bought Buzz Aldrin Space Program which looks kind of cool. And I was thinking about doing like a space theme, adding a space theme to the channel. I didn't get Stellaris, but uh, that was pretty cheap on the Steam sale. And what else did I want? Cliff Empire looks good. I want to get into city building. And there are some cool city building games coming up in 2019. Uh, particularly things that deal with... Uh, more BC era historian games, like ancient history games. And ancient history hasn't really been a theme of mine that I focused on a lot, uh, either in my teaching, my school, or uh, my gaming. So that's something I'd like to explore a little more. Um, trying to think what else was coming up down the pipe in this channel. Those are all the big moves for the channel. For now, uh, if anyone has any suggestions, as always, for games, uh, series, different series that they'd like to see, please feel free to comment down below. Like the video if you did and you want to see more. And please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And uh, you'd like to see more videos and be more involved and engaged. Thanks for everyone for all the comments, as always. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next episode.